she actually came up and asked me to do an oil change for her one day. I worked with this stepmom at Lowe's Foods and I was mentioning that I needed an oil change. She's like, oh, there's this guy at your church. He's my stepson. His name's Kevin. Yeah, you should go ask him. And I never talked to him before. I didn't know who no, we went to the same church. And so I ended up going to her house um, and um, trying to do an oil change for her. But uh, Yeah, well, he said that it had been factory tightened. He's like, I, didn't, I don't want to strip your, 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 your bolt or whatever. I was like, OK, well. Um, trying to do an oil change because my, my wrench is broke, my wrench broke, so. I guess you can still come in and get dinner anyway. <laughs> you know, whatever, all right. Um, that's like the first time that we actually started uh, hanging out, that we ever hung out and um, ever started talking. Probably the first time I started liking her is um, a day we went to, we went flying, we went to um, a Wilmington outreach. We had gone to outreach and uh, he had tried to make conversation with me the whole day and I was just kind of like, ugh, whatever. And um, they were having a one-on-one -on -one basketball tournament. But little by little, he would, we would just start talking. And um, we just did some kite flying. And uh... finally, we went over there, and, and Pastor Worm had gotten a whole bunch of kites for um, like the, the neighboring kids to come and join the uh, join a, and at the park. And I needed help, and but I couldn't put it together. And so he did it for me. And I was just kind of looking at him, like, kind of warily, like I, I don't know if I, you know. But um, we ended up having a great time together. We were flying kites together. He was showing me how to do it. I, I couldn't get my kite off the ground. And he was kind of showing, and it was just, um, I, I think that was when I kind of just was like, I saw him in a different light that day. We were just flying kites together and it was, it was dorky and geeky. You know, we're just all flying our Captain America and Iron Man kites, but it was, it, it was definitely, I saw him in a different light that day. It was pretty fun. I think probably the thing that I love the most, maybe, is that he gets me. Um, there's nothing else, like he just accepts it as like, okay, this is Alex. And Sometimes we're just talking in the car and I'm like, um, man, I'm just like, like, she has to get out of the car and I'm like, dang, man, I, I wish we could just sit here all night, you know? I'm so happy and so just excited and overwhelmed that I'm gonna be able to spend the rest of my life with you and to be your wife and, and, and it's, it's like living a dream. I just can't wait, you know. It's, uh, it's real surreal. About four years ago, I started dating my wife and Tim was kind of just attached to the hip because he was notorious for having car problems and a couple years there. I gave Kevin rides for about three years. <laughs> just everywhere, you know? So pretty much it was Rachel dated me and Kevin, you know? Just, uh, you know, I got all the romance. He got to eat the food with us, too. So he got a pretty good bargain. Dear Kevin, by the time you're reading this, it will be mere hours and scant minutes till we become man and wife. Remember, it was 30 days, two weeks, then one day, 15 hours and 26 seconds. Time has gone by so fast, and yet, I feel as if I can't remember a time, and maybe I just don't want to, when we weren't dating or falling in love. And now we have the rest of our lives to fall even more and even deeper in love. Kevin, I thank God for you. You have come to mean so much to me. I truly believe that God handpicked you. He has blessed me with you. He gave me a guy who can make me laugh, even when I'm mad or sad, and who brings a smile to my face when he walks in. You get me. You understand, and you're my best friend. I can't believe that today I get to marry you. I'm so thankful for you, Kevin, and for your love. Let's let's do this. See y'all in the big church. And I'm the one dressed in white, dropping lint, babies everywhere. And you're like, woo! I love you with all my heart. Alex, my pumpkin spice Latina. that um, God has rescued me about four years ago, um, just, just simply just changed my life and um, restored me, he gave me hope and um, this is a dream that I've had for a long time. We're having a wedding, we're going to just uh, invite the bride in, then we're going to take our seats, sing some worship songs, hear the word of God, and then uh, witness them uh, 
exchange their vows. So the calendar is ready. Rachel and I have been able to share with them and, you know, chaperone dates and whatnot and go out to dinner and see them grow and see God bless them, them mature a lot, Shut up. And grow up and become adults. And just to see Kevin, he got a haircut, that's great. And, uh, you know, one piece of advice, Kevin, you know, don't go to bed angry. So sleep on the couch, wait it out, it's not the bed, so she can go to bed angry, and then you've won. So that's what you really want. I'm just, so let's give a toast to the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Vargas. Thank you. 